hey you guys welcome or welcome back to the channel so today i have a thrift haul from goodwill and savers and then i have a few things from forever 21 that i couldn't find when i was trying to show you guys my haul from the mall the other day so i guess we can start with the stuff from forever 21 since i have the least of that and then we'll go into the thrift haul this right here you will see in an upcoming haul or you might have already seen it I got this actually from Ollie's. I got the jacket in two different colors. And then I just wore it with my bag that I showed you guys from Ross. Yeah, that I got on a really good deal. So, yeah, let's go. All right, so from Forever 21, I found these bedroom shoes that are Hello Kitty. Like, look at that. They're so freaking cute. I love that they're like this cotton candy kind of vibe to them and it just has the little forever 21 hello kitty collab tag i don't even remember how much were these child i don't know i had to go down a size in these well not really but i've been buying stuff bigger lately oh this was 14.99 and then i also picked up some clearance jewelry so they had these earrings here so they're just a gold and lilac hoop they had a markdown to five dollars but they actually rang up for 250 and then i also picked up these because i just really liked the color of the blues and the pinks i thought it would go good especially with some hello kitty shirts that i actually have and then just because i film a lot and i'm not sure if i showed you this since i didn't know where that bag was so i'll just show you now i got this karomi mug from there as well which i think is super cute this is my girl i love her from hello kitty and this was 9.99 and it's purple so love that for me all right so let's jump into the thrift haul because i have i mean not a lot but i got some stuff so the first thing i want to show you is this skirt that i found so it's like a little pleather like pencil skirt i guess but it has these black pearls so hopefully you can see the detail on that so i thought that was nice how it just had plain black pearls it does have a split up the back and then a little zipper as well up the back so i got this from the goodwill i did try everything on unfortunately this does not work for me but so i'm trying to decide if i want to keep it or if i want to maybe sell it on my poshmark and then also i picked up this other um pencil skirt so it just has the elastic pieces here on the side but then you can see it has this um more textured like stripes here so i got this one and it just has like a tiny little split at the very bottom nothing nothing major and this one actually did fit and this one is in a medium and that one's in a large so i don't know but i'm definitely keeping this i thought it was really cute on um i did pick up two dresses so one i'm not sure yet if i want to keep this so i got this one here so it's just purple white and black print and then it actually ties so it has the little straps here so you can tie around the waist and then it's not like a traditional like just straight v-cut it actually kind of goes from like here and then it kind of travels down and kind of goes comes over like that so i really like that and then um yeah it's just like flowy at the bottom so I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or take it back. And it also has this ruffle design. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it has that on both sides. So like I said, I'm still trying to decide if I want to take that back or not. And then I have this one here that is by, who is this by? Okay, so this one is um, Ralph Lauren. So this one I am going to take back because it actually... Um, well, let me show it to you first so like a three-quarter length sleeve there is the pattern so you know it's just tight all the way down and then it has the little gathering here you know from the from the side 
you know, in case, you know, you still not as tastic as you want to be, you know, you want a little coverage or whatever. But, um, this one, it actually has some, um, I can't think of the, the, the name, what is it called? But you know, like you can tell that the fabric is like, um, like if it's like if someone rubbed it too much in a specific area and I didn't I didn't notice it until after I tried it on because it's like all the way down here. You know, like sometimes if you wear certain shirts and your seatbelt goes across you and it's like it leaves those little beads. That's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take this back. They give you seven days to take stuff back now because they don't um, they, they don't open the dressing rooms anymore. Like it doesn't make any sense. So that's that. Then I actually got some albums from uh, Savers. So I picked this one up. So it's just little Michael Jackson and all his friends. So I got the We Are The World album here. It says includes nine previously unreleased songs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I got those. And then I also picked up this one here, Angela Bowfield, Too Much. So I got this album as well. I like the cover. It's definitely giving, okay? So I got that one. And the last one I picked up was Al Jarreau. So it says, This Time. Because I actually was playing my record player recently so I was like, sure, let me get some more records to add to my little collection. And I typically get them from the thrift store. Um, let's see. Okay, so what else? So when I went to Savers, I also picked up some books. So I picked up the Janet Ivanovich and Peter Ivanovich, The Big Kahuna. It says A Fox and O'Hare Novel. I like reading her books. I usually get the other ones. Um, I have a whole bunch. So I usually get the ones like this. So these are the Stephanie Plum novels, as you can see right there. So I picked up this one that says um, 10 big ones. So I have this book, but I have it in paperback and I prefer hardback. But I got this one because this is not one of the number series or the Stephanie Plum. It's um also, you know, something that's older. So it might would be harder to find this book now in this. So just so I could read it, I went on ahead and picked it up in paperback it was only 249 so i figured why not so savers has a thing where when you buy four books you get one free so that's what i did and then i also had a coupon from the last time that i went there and then i they had customer appreciation so i just used customer appreciation because it gave me 20 percent off versus just using my five dollar off coupon and then the other books i got was this one is called the Luis Ortega Survival Club. It says National Book Award finalist Sonora Reyes. So I picked this one up because it just caught my eye. Like it looks pretty good. So I got that. You know, just something fun to read, you know, just chilling. And then I picked up this one called Renee and Jay. So we got that one. And then if you want to pause it, bam, hopefully you can see that. If not, you can zoom it in, I guess, once you pause it and take a picture if you want a screenshot to see, like, what the book is about. And then this one uh, is by J.D. Robb, and it's called Faithless in Death. So I've been collecting these. Oh, cool. So it actually shows you the collection. So they always have these little posters. Usually I get these books at Ollie's, but so this is what it looks like. So, you know, I'm making my way. <laughs> so now I have um, Faithless in Death. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I have Leverage in Death. I think I have Vendetta in Death. And I think there's like one more that I have. Dark in Death, I think is the other one that I have. So, you know, we're getting our collection up a little bit. And I can't wait to reorganize my bookshelves and everything. So yeah, and this for the price was very good because these books are expensive. So to get it for $4.99 and then 
it was $28.99 for us and then $38.50 in Canada was a steal and then of course with my discounts that helped as well and then the other thing I got was I got some shoes and they're so freaking cute like look they're like gray black and wine or burgundy I don't know maybe burgundy but they're so cute like they have so there's the little heel or whatever gray in the front little peep toe and then they zip on the inside thank the lord to make it easier to get on these were 979 and these are nine west and then i picked up two more pair so i got these pair here with this like more chunky heel and so they actually you know like that has the little cutouts and then it has the piece here so it like wraps around the um wraps around the ankle or whatever and these were only $5.49 so I thought that was a really good deal and I thought these would be good to wear like days when I go out maybe if I'm going dancing or something and I want something that's not super high and then I also picked up these which I love these are by Nicole Miller they were $14.99 so I don't know what I ended up actually paying for them after the discount but I thought they were so cute and I love shoes like this where it's like the little heel is out in the back and then it also is peep toe in the front and then these um they just have as you can see the multiple straps so that way you can kind of adjust it to wherever you like it and then this one at the top so basically you just gotta take the one at the top off to make it easy to get in but i thought these were super cute so i went on ahead and picked those up and then i had to put this in here to keep it from getting lost but i also picked up some accessories while i was in there and had a good little chit chat with the lady behind the counter and one of her like regular customers so i picked up this set by um time and true which is walmart's brand so she kind of like jacked the box up when they was trying to find the price but so it's just this pink watch and it comes with the bracelet which i cannot wait to wear i've i mean to be quite honest i would have paid that just for the bracelet i thought the bracelet was super pretty the watch to me is just a bonus so two pieces for 4.99 yes please and then I picked up this watch here. So it's like another bangle. So it's gold and silver tone. And this one was only $3.99. So I thought that was a really good deal. And it was in really nice shape. So I was like, why not? And then I got this one here. This was also $3.99. And this is another like cuff bracelet style watch. I just liked it because, I don't know, it was kind of giving me like Tin Man vibes or something. I don't know. But it's just this silver watch. But you know, it's not like just, it's not silver like this, right? So that's what intrigued me. I don't know. It, it was kind of making me think like Queen of Hearts, like from, um, what is it? What is that? I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> what is that? Um... Alice in Wonderland. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't remember. But yeah, I just, I don't know. For some reason, it was just making me think of that or like Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. And I like how it had the hearts and the little um, designs on there. So I got that. And the last one I got was this other one that's like a bracelet style. But it's tortoise shell. And it's just silver. So I thought that was a nice little brace, I mean bracelet watch. And then it was $3.99 as well. And then from the Goodwill, right? I went to another one and I found some more jewelry pieces. So I love these. And like this one, did it really just come out the pack as soon as I went to pick it up? Why is this trying to play me in my own video? Like, what is happening? Like the back of the earring just came off somewhere down in here. 
child. Anyway, so this is the heart earrings. And so this definitely was giving, you know, heart vibes. And it made me think of the little crazy lady, the queen from Alice in Wonderland. But I thought these were super cute with the pearl at the top, the gold heart, and then the different color stones. I thought this was really eye-catching. And for $3.99, like, be for real. But I did have points I accumulated. So when I got to the register, I was able to get like $16 and some change off of my purchase. So that was really good. I also picked up this necklace which i had actually saw at the first uh well the last store that i filmed the haul for but the piece broke on one of these so that's why i couldn't get it and so i was so excited when i saw it at the other one it's just this pearl detail like i think it's so pretty i'll go with that so i got that and then I picked this one up last, I think, because I don't know, like it's simple, right? It's really simple, but it's like the pop of color. I just really loved the particular shade of stones. And I love that it was coupled with gold and not silver. So we got that one. I got these super cute earrings. Like, tell me those are not cute. Like, I love these. I think they're so pretty. So I got these as well. And then, because those are actually go with a pair of a necklace that I showed you guys in another haul. Because the I have some other earrings that um that are like this color. And so I found a necklace that was this color and gold. And so it's just a simple circle with gold. So I was like, that'll be perfect to go with that. Then I found this nice necklace here with this muted antique like gold color. Well, no, it wouldn't be antique gold, but it's like a muted gold, right? And so it just has these little flower details here. And I thought that would be a nice statement piece over like a mock neck or, you know, if you were wearing something sleeveless in the summer and you just wanted like something to stand out at the neckline. And then I found this one, which the first time that I found these, um, this brand at the Goodwill, um, I found the little owl, but it was in, I believe it was in black that I got in the first time. So then I found this one in the gold with cream. And I just think the little owl is so cute. Like, is like, look at that. It's so cute. So I got that one. I also picked up this earring and I got it in two different colors. So the first one is this gold hoop and then it has these um, these little pear shaped purple stones right there. So I got those. I thought they would look really pretty on, you know, something simple. And then I also picked it up in the silver, but the silver has the blue stone with it and I thought this particular shade of blue was very nice so we got that then I picked up these pair which I also thought were just very eye-catching so you know a little razzle dazzle it's like I think for $3.99 that's an amazing price especially when you figure for all of this stuff technically I pay less than $3 um 99 for everything since i did have my um my discount and the last pair that i got was um this little heart and bow pair which is like tell me that is not cute like i think that is so cute and i i wish they had something to go with it like a matching necklace or something but this is all i saw so and this was the only pair. And what I've been trying to do is go to the different Goodwills to see like what I can find that's different from the other location. And so far I've been doing really well with finding pieces that haven't been at the other locations. So I'm super excited about all of my new purchases. Like I can't wait to wear my shoes out, you know, picture coming soon. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to do better about, like I said, posting pictures on my community post for you guys so you guys can see. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and make sure by the subscribe button, you click the little 
drop down arrow and select all for your notifications so that way you know if i post a video or just something on a community post you know whether i'm saying hi telling you about a deal showing you a picture something like that or if i do a short or something so i hope you guys enjoyed oh and today's earrings are these these ones right here so these are another pair that i made myself over the summer and i thought it was good and cute to go with my blue for today and this is my little ring from five below and this one as well so yeah i'll be trying to wear you know what i show y'all right i do i promise y'all i told y'all i do i just i'm not a vlogger so i don't show y'all really what i wear <laughs> but i appreciate y'all <clears throat> For still coming and looking at the hauls so until next time i'm gonna go so i can put that new stuff up and sanitize everything else and see what i want to get into for the rest of the day i hope you guys are all doing well i appreciate you for stopping by and for sitting through this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Bye.